Chaplain Givens, uh, here just to offer a word of encouragement this 9-11 uh, Remembrance Day. 19th anniversary of uh, a horrific, horrific day on our land. I think of the song that Alan Jackson, a uh, country western singer, came out with soon after 9-11. It says, uh, where were you? Uh, I'm sure you know where you were that day as we heard the news and were surprised at first and then stunned the, the tragedy and the lives lost. September 11, 2001, a day that will forever be etched in our history. Four flights left the East Coast, headed for the West Coast, yet not one person that morning knew what the day would hold for them. Terrorist hijackers flew two planes, you know, into World Trade Center towers, killing thousands of innocent people. Third plane exploded into the Pentagon. The last plane crashed, of course, into the Pennsylvania field. Families, fathers, mothers, children, co-workers were suddenly gone, buried amidst the rubble. Hours earlier, breakfast had been shared together around the table and Children headed off to school and spouses were kissed and homes were left unbeknownst to them for the last time. And so 19 years later, I just wanna be the first to say, let us never forget. Let us never forget what happened that day and that this day is etched in our history for a reason, to remind us, to remind us that God, even in the midst of cra craziness and in, in the midst of such tragedy is with us. I want to read to you from uh, Dr. Billy Graham, um, his message the couple of days after those plane crashes. He said this, we've always needed God from the very beginning of this nation, but today we need him especially. God is our refuge and strength and ever present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea. Psalm 46 verses one and two. God is with us, let us not forget. Bless you this day.